I'll be showing the distance learning resources that Microsoft has available for parents, families, and guardians. As a parent myself, I know how challenging it can be during these times, whether it's distance learning or hybrid learning or something in between. So let's get started. I'm here on the Microsoft Education homepage. The link is on the screen and also in the description. And what we're gonna do is drop this remote learning menu here, and we're gonna choose remote learning. This is the main page for all of our remote learning content, and we're gonna go down right here and scroll down and choose parents, families, and guardians. This is the main parents, families, and guardians page with all of our resources and links and jumping off points. And I'll be going through this page and showing a lot of the really helpful tips that we have for parents. Now I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna go through this page and go to the first area, which I think is really important, which we just have launched. This is different parent mindsets. Now there's lots of different parents and families out there and many people are having different experiences with remote learning, distance learning, and hybrid learning. And based on some great research that Microsoft did, we categorize these into three different groups. There are parents who are thriving, there are parents who say they're coping, and there are parents who say they're overwhelmed. And I'm gonna actually go in reverse order. We're gonna start with the I'm overwhelmed because this video is really meant to help the parents that might be struggling the most. Now what we've done on this page is group together lots of resources. So tips and tools to support learnings, links for reading, writing, and math. We also have many different categories of ages. So you can see here there are different age categories. There are some other links around keeping students engaged. And then there's some really short little quick start videos. How do I get started with some of these technology apps to get up and running quickly? Parents can often benefit from understanding how some of these work as well if they need to help students with homework. And there's some other information down here in terms of internet safety and privacy, and also some links about these other ones that you might wanna explore. The second page is for the coping parents. So there's overwhelmed and maybe feeling a little bit better but not great as coping. And that's another persona we have. And again, it's that same layout, but there's some different links and some different ways you can explore. And then the last one is the thriving parent. They're feeling great. Hey, things are going pretty well. My students are doing okay at home. And there's some ways to go maybe beyond what you're doing now and some links to dive a little bit deeper. So those are our three personas. Now, each of these pages also has the glossary. This is our M365 glossary of all the products for Microsoft Education. And I'm gonna open that PDF here, and the link is also on the screen, and I'll put that in the description. This just came out, and what we found is a lot of parents and families just wanna have the nice little layout of all these different products, and maybe some really short little quick tips on how to get started. So things like Office and Windows, you've probably heard of those, but then we have things like Teams, which is newer for some people. And if you scroll down, it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You might think you have known these, but we have some really significant updates that have helped a lot of students. We have modern AI and intelligence to help out. But then there might be apps like OneNote or Sway or Flipgrid. Maybe you haven't heard of Flipgrid. And all of these are in here as well. And we've tried to keep it simple where there's only one link per product. We don't wanna give you 50 links to learn about Microsoft Forms, just one link. And these links go to what we call our product pages. So for example, if I wanna learn about Teams, I can click a link here and learn about it. Or if I wanna learn about Microsoft Word, if I go here, that'll open up the introduction to Word, there's support, there's some quick tip videos. Things like the Immersive Reader, the same thing. We have these product pages that come off of our glossary. Now, one of the most popular apps right now is Microsoft Teams. That's being used by millions and millions of students and families all around the world for education, remote, and hybrid learning. We created a really detailed family guide. So if you wanna drill in from a family or a parent perspective and learn about Teams, there is a PDF here. And the link is on the screen. It's also in the description below that will open up this family and guardian guide to teams. And it's very detailed, but you can learn as much or as little as you need to. So just a little bit of introduction that we give people here, but it has a nice table of content, just the basics of getting started. How do I join a class? What if I have a remote device or an iPad or an iPhone? All of these things about just sign-ins and getting started with the basics, this is a step-by-step -step for families at home who might wanna use this. So we highly encourage you to check out this Teams EDU family guide. Now we're gonna go back to that main family page that we talked about. 
I'm going to scroll up another very common topic for remote learning is students with special needs or assistive technology, maybe students with disabilities. We have a great deal of information for families. You might not be aware, but Microsoft Education has one of the leading accessible platforms and everything is built in, mainstream, non-stigmatizing and free. So we put together what I think is one of my very favorite sites on the entire web. We put together a site for special education and remote learning. And the link for it is right here. You can see the link on the screen. This is also in the description. So I'm going to open up what's called the MEC accessibility site. So special education and accessibility resources for remote learning. If you scroll down, we have a nice infographic here, but you can go as broad or as deep as you want on this site. So first off, as I scroll down, you're going to see some great links here, kind of high level links around this model of remote or hybrid instruction. And there are links like connecting students and parents, different models of instruction, creating accessible content. And anytime you open up one of these links, it's going to open up a page that has a lot more details. So for example, I'm going to scroll here. This is, I think, the best part of the site. These nine links, you have reading and writing, executive functioning, mobility, vision, hearing. If I open up one of these links, if I go into reading, writing, and math, for example, you're going to see quick tip videos. Hey, there's me. Our immersive reader reading our tips on writing and dictation our math tools live captions so all of that is linked in there if i want to open up another one of these let's say i open up hearing then you're going to see something very similar so all the great capabilities we have for students who have hearing impairments so any of these squares drills directly into a page that has quick tip videos how to get going they're fantastic for students and parents who don't have a lot of time and at the bottom there's some other details around things. We have a link for parents, early childhood special education, highly capable and twice exceptional. That's actually very common. There's not a lot of information out there typically from tech companies, but we focused on this. Second language learners and accommodations. So this MEC accessibility site is fantastic. Highly encourage people to check this out. Again, it's that built-in, mainstream, non-stigmatizing and free. Let's go back to this main parent page again. The last thing I'm going to show are training workshops with live experts. If you scroll down to the bottom of this main parents page that we've been on, you'll see find virtual workshops and trainings. So while Microsoft stores, the actual brick and mortar stores have closed, we've moved everything to online. So if I open this link right here, you'll see virtual workshops and trainings. And I scroll down and there's a bunch of online workshops for students. So find workshops for students. I click this. Here's examples, winter camps. And if I scroll down, things like Minecraft trainings and workshops, Smithsonian, National Air and Space Museum, computer science classes, Chaos Maze, computer science education, women of Xbox, girls in gaming. So there's a lot of really interesting things on the Microsoft stores. And these are online trainings. They're totally free and you can register and sign up. So this is great for maybe winter break or spring break or summer break or any time of the year that you wanna have some of your students and your children engage on some of these summer camps. I hope it's been helpful to be able to see all the different resources we have for parents and families and guardians. We're always improving them and I hope you are able to explore. All these links are also in the description of this video. So please explore them and try them out. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.